should I start? Yes, ma'am. You can start. It's fine. Please start. On. Namaskar. मैं श्वेता पुरी स्पीक मैके की तरफ से इस अनुभव श्रृंखला की मोहनी अट्टम वर्कशॉप में आप सबका स्वागत करती हूं इस वर्कशॉप के लिए हमारे बीच भारत की सर्वश्रेष्ठ नृत्यांगना डॉक्टर दीप्ति ओमचरी भल्ला जी हैं मोहनी अट्टम की गरिमा को पूरे विश्व में स्थापित करने में इनका अहम योगदान रहा है स्पीक मैके के साथ इनका एक बहुत लंबा संबंध है इनके द्वारा किए गए वर्कशॉप बच्चों के लिए ज्ञानवर्धक एवं प्रेरणा का स्रोत रहे हैं आज यहाँ उपस्थित सभी बच्चों से मैं अनुरोध करती हूँ कि पूरे ध्यान से वर्कशॉप में सम्मिलित हों तथा इस ज्ञान गंगा का लाभ उठाएं। आगे के कार्यक्रम का संचालन अंजलि और सियानी करेंगी ओवर टू यू अंजलि Thank you, Shweta Ma'am. Uh, good, good morning to all the dignitaries, guests, and delegates. I feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to all present here for Anbhav 2021. I heartily welcome each one of you to this event. I'm Anjali Sharma, a PICMIC volunteer studying in Miranda House, University of Delhi. I take immense pleasure. to be a part of anubhav 2021 an initiative by spikmake curated with the aim of engaging young minds in creative arts and craft from the comfort of their homes owing to this pandemic situation spikmake is a voluntary of youth movement founded in 1977 by dr kiran seth professor emeritus at iit delhi who was awarded the padmashri for his contribution to arts in 2009 this movement aims at making education holistic by promoting intangible aspects of indian culture heritage by organizing programs of classical music classical dance folk music yoga meditation craft cinema classes inside educational campuses anubhav is a week long program for 21st to 27th june 2021 sitting at home yet in an ashram like routine participants will get an opportunity to connect with some of the greatest gurus through um, through various activities like classical music dance concerts cultural heritage and environmental in, uh, interactions untimely establishing a deep port with indian and world heritage um today we feel honored to have one such eminent artist with us who is none other than a well known exponent of mohini attam an artist and a scholar dr deepti omcheri bhalla now i'll request shayoni to give a brief introduction of guruji over to shayoni नमस्कार गुरुजी, वैसे तो आपका परिचय इतना विशुद्ध है कि आप प्रस्तुत करना संभव नहीं है फिर भी हम आपका एक संक्षिप्त परिचय देते हुए गौरव का अनुभव कर रहे हैं मोहिनी अट्टम नृत्यांगना दीप्ति ओमचेरी भल्ला देश के उन चुनिंदा कलाकारों में से है जो नृत्य के साथ साथ संगीत में भी पारंगत है आपकी नृत्य और संगीत की शिक्षा मात्र चार साल की उम्र में ही शुरू हो गई थी आपने नृत्य के शुरुआत कथाकली सीखने से की कुछ बारह साल कथाकली सीखने के पश्चात आपने आगे चलकर मोहिनी आट्टम को प्राथमिकता दी आपने मोहिनी आट्टम का प्रशिक्षण कला मंडलम कल्याणी कुट्टी अम्मा से लिया और कर्नाटक संगीत की शिक्षा माल लीला ओमचेरी से प्राप्त की इसके अलावा आपने हिंदुस्तानी शास्त्रीय संगीत में भी दक्षता हासिल की कर्नाटक संगीत में एम ए एम फिल पी की डिग्री हासिल कर 
करने के अलावा आपने डागर ब्रदर्स और यूनुस हुसैन जैसे गुरुओं से सीखा न केवल आपने देश में बल्कि विदेश में भी आप अपनी और मोहिनी अट्टम की पहचान बना चुकी हैं और स्वर्ण समारोह खजुराव समारोह नृत्य समागम आदि जैसे अनेक समारोह में अपनी कला का प्रदर्शन कर चुकी हैं आपको संगीत नाटक अकादमी नारदा गाना सभा नृत्य रत्ना जैसे अनेक सम्मानों से सम्मानित किया जा चुका है वर्तमान में आप दिल्ली विश्वविद्यालय में कर्नाटक संगीत की प्रोफेसर प्रोफेसर हैं और इसके साथ ही आपकी कला यात्रा जारी है अब मैं तहे दिल से गुरुजी का स्वागत करती हूँ और गुरुजी का स्वागत करने से पहले मैं यहाँ प्रस्तुत सारे दर्शकों को कैमरा ऑन रखने ऑन रखने की निर्देश ना देती हूँ माइक को म्यूट रखे किसी को प्रश्न पूछना हो तो हैंड रेस का ऑप्शन क्लिक कर दें आपने मोबाइल अपने मोबाइल लैपटॉप को उचित दूरी पर रखें अब मैं गुरुजी से अनुरोध करती हूँ कि वे कार्यशाला को आगे बढ़ाए थैंक यू सौभाग्य है मैं कहूंगी क्योंकि एक कलाकार को जब उसकी कला के बारे में विषय के बारे में जब आमंत्रित किया जाता है कि उसकी कला की चर्चा हो कला में उनका उसका उनका जो अपना प्रवेश हो उनकी जर्नी हो जब इन सब के बारे में एक, एक कलाकार को आमंत्रित करते हैं तो इससे बड़ा एक अनुभव और इससे बड़ा एक सौभाग्य किसी भी कलाकार को नहीं मिल सकता और मैं अपने बारे में केवल ये कहना चाहूँगी कि मेरा बहुत ही बड़ा सौभाग्य रहा है कि मुझे संगीत और नृत्य में दोनों में ही एक समान शिक्षा ग्रहण करने को मेरे को भी अवसर मिला है और साथ ही ऐसे उच्च कोटि के गुरुओं के साथ सीखने का एक अवसर मिला है जैसे संगीत में केवल चार साढ़े चार उम्र होगी मेरी और मेरी माता श्री को पता चला कि मेरे अंदर एक प्रतिभा है गाने का तो वो सबसे पहले मेरी प्रथम गुरु वही बनी डॉक्टर लीला उचेरी पद्मश्री डॉक्टर लीला उचेरी जिसके पश्चात उनको लगा कि अब मेरा संगीत की शिक्षा के लिए मुझे आगे के गुरुओं से संपर्क रखना जरूरी है तो मेरा पल्लवी विद्वान श्री जी सुरागमन थे जो दिल्ली में थे उस वक्त और श्रीमती अखिला कृष्ण जी दोनों का बहुत बड़ा सहयोग मेरे एक संगीत के मार्ग में शिक्षा के मार्ग में उन दोनों का बहुत बड़ा सहयोग था जहाँ तक नृत्य की बात आती है वहाँ भी मेरा बहुत बड़ा सौभाग्य रहा यहाँ पर ऐसे समय जब मेरी पैदाइश दिल्ली में हुई मेरे माता पिता उन्नीस में दिल्ली में आए थे उस टाइम पे उस वक्त केरल से बहुत कम गिने चुने मलयाली सी दिल्ली में थे उनका एक बहुत एक उनका एक कंडीशन थी कि उनके बच्चे केवल मलयालम में ही घर पे बात करेंगे मलयालम संगीत गाएंगे मलयालम लिटरेचर से जुड़े रहेंगे ऐसा जब उनके अंदर एक उनके मन में एक ठान आ गई तो सौभाग्यवश यहाँ पे इंटरनेशनल सेंटर फॉर कथकली की स्थापना हुई थी उस टाइम बहुत पुरानी बात में कह रही और वहाँ पे ऐसे महान कलाकार गुरु कुंडन तुम माधव पंडित के राजस्थान जो संगीत नाटक अकेडमी के सर्वप्रथम रेसिपियंट थे ऐसे महान कलाकार यहाँ पे गुरु बनकर हर तीन साल आते थे सिखाते थे उसके बाद अलग से गुरु फिर केरल से आते थे वो तीन साल रहते थे इस तरह से अनेकों गुरुओं के साथ मुझे अपनी कला नृत्य की कला यात्रा मुझे मेरी शुरुआत हुई और मुझे सीखने का अवसर मिला तो जहाँ तक मेरे नृत्य का सवाल था कथकली 
बाहर ना साल मेरे को सीखने का अवसर मिला दिल्ली में इंटरनेशनल सेंटर फॉर एपिडेमी जिसमें सदर नंद कुमार थे सदर बालकृष्णन थे जो सबसे आखिर में मेरे गुरु रहे थे और आज भी वो कतली के सबसे सर्वश्रेष्ठ कलाकार माने जाते हैं और नलियूर वासुदेव नंदोत्री जो केरला में है उससे मैं जब भी केरला में जाती थी कहने का तात्पर्य यह है कि मैंने कभी भी एक क्षण भी कला से मैंने अपनी जिंदगी को अलग नहीं किया वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज दैट इफ यू हैव अ पैशन एंड इफ यू हैव इवन इफ यू मे और मे नॉट हैव वेरी कंड्यूसिव एनवायरमेंट इट इज वेरी एसेंशियल दैट यू रिमेन कनेक्टेड टू योर आर्ट योर पैशन बिकॉज दैट इज दी ओनली मीडियम दैट इज दी ओनली थिंग सोर्स that will give you build up the positive energy the real human being what you really are that's the only thing that will that will authenticate that will substantiate all the rest come go you know ye aate jaate rehte hain jaise hawa aati hai nikal jaati hai barsaat aati hai chali jaati hai suraj aata hai ast ho jata hai ye sab aane jaane wale hain ritu mein aati hai chali jaati hai but your passion for your art and when i'm saying art i do not really mean just dance and music it can be writing great right you know indian arts have 64 kala hain hamare desh mein 64 64 kala hain hum log sthapit kar chuke hain bharat mein ye aur baat hai ki aaj kal hum keval five fine arts ko lekar hum samajhte hain art hai nahi keval five fine arts nahi hai hamare uske alawa bhi bahut si kalaen hain jisme hum mahir apne aap ko mahir kar sakte hain और ये 64 आर्ट्स जो हैं ये अगर हमारा पैशन बन जाता है तो हम हर किसी दबाव से हर किसी परिस्थिति से चाहे वो हमारे अनुकूल ना हो हर किसी परिस्थिति से हमें लड़ने का एक एक हमें ताकत मिली सो दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट माई मदर एंश्योर दैट नॉट अ सिंगल मोमेंट ऑफ माई लाइफ ऑन वेस्टेड I was getting education, but at the same time, she understood the importance of learning art. Understood the importance of how you evolve as a good human being. How do you evolve as a human being who tries to retrospect? A कलाकार हमेशा सोचता है अंदर से कि क्या मैं ये सही कर रहा हूँ गलत कर रहा हूँ. वो जो retrospective attitude है ये कलाकार का साथ हमेशा हमें and so when i used to go for my holidays to kerala my mother used to take me to all gurus of music dance from kerala ke kalakaron ke sath milna unka performances dekhna kathakali ka aur kerala jitne bhi arts hain un sab ka performances dekhne ka jo hai mujhe bahut hi acha avsar meri madad ne diya aur main unki bahut hi aakhari hu ki mujhe ek sohna ki mila ki main unki ek putri rahi hu aur jab main kerala ki वहाँ पे मेरी भेंट हुई मेरे जैसे 12 साल मैंने कथकली के बाद जब मैं एक युवा अवस्था में थी तो सब लोग जो मेरे कथकली परफॉर्मेंस जो देखते थे दिल्ली में उनमें से कुछ लोगों ने एक कमेंट दिया कि आप अपनी जो आपकी अपनी जो खूबसूरती है वो कथकली के मुखौटे के पीछे छुप जाती है तो आप ऐसा क्यों नहीं कुछ एक कला सीखते हैं जिसमें आप अपनी मुखौटे को सच्ची जो आपके पीछे का मुखौटा अपना अपना सुख है वो क्यों नहीं आप दर्शकों के सामने लाते हैं जब काफी लोगों ने इस बात का मेरे मेरे ऊपर ये बातचीत चली देन आई रियलाइज दैट यस व्हाई नॉट व्हाई कांट आई टेक क्लासिकल डांस वेयर एन आई कैन इमर्ज एज अ सोलोइस्ट एंड पीपल टू नो the real thing why can't i do that so that is when when i went to one of my holidays when i was in still in college just entered into college i have to chance on meeting allowed no to get into your mind around or tiruvananthapuram mein main apne apna holiday spend karti thi to wahan pe sabhagya prashn ko sikhane aati thi bahut unki us time pe she was very old at that time also about 75 76 very 
So when I went to her, she said, uh, I'm quite old. So I don't think so I can bend my body and teach you the way I really want to teach you. Considering your eagerness to learn from me and Mukhaniyatam, how do I teach you? So let me see how you can do something. So I showed her a padam that I learned in Kathakani and she was very impressed by the facial expressions that I could use, my mudras, my Asta mudras, and so on, my gurus, that I could uh, convince her that I had the potential to learn Nyata also. And give me, the first thing that she taught was not the general footwork and footsteps and all, because she felt that having learned Kathakani, it would not be a difficult task for me to, uh, you know, go from Kathakali to Mohiniyatam, um, except for certain body movements which are much more softer and subtler. So she taught me about And it was so beautifully taught to me. I just kept looking at her eyes. You know, she had her, she used to wear a very uh, uh, glasses which were, I think, had a very strong power. So her eyes would look so big behind those glasses. She had very bright and big eyes. So when she would look and show the expressions on the eyes, I used to just keep myself immersed in those eye expressions. And then that is how gradually I started imbibing whatever she was trying to teach me. Now let me tell you, all of you, that learning art as a child may not really help you to understand the real art form. You will be just imitating what the guru is teaching you. But if you have a passion, you have a desire, you have an interest, you are focused. Most important is you are focused. You need to be focused. You can't just take it casually. complete or aapke drishti se sab kuch us or aapka us or kendrit hona bhaat saruri hai. Kyunki tabhi dheere dheere aap us me us ko imitate karte 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 wo jo movement hai wo automatic aapke body ka, aapke mind ka, aapke self ka automatically it will become a part of your self. So, aaj bhi mein apne student se kehti hu ki I am 63 and even then I may have certain movements, restrictions, but the moment I sit down, I do sit down. It comes automatically. Why? Because of the long training that I have had over so many years and the continuous practice that I have had, the performances that I have had, all these things have contributed largely to my emerging as a dancer and also being a part of the spectacle, which you all will be surprised that I have been part of the spectacle since its inception. Dr. Kiran said and I, he joined the Delhi University Choir, that's when he was contemplating of building, of, of starting a, a concept, his dream for the spectacle. Wanted to start such a dream. And Ustad Yunus Hussein Khasa of Agra he was quite impressed by his, his music and his choir. He was the conductor of the Delhi University Choir at that time. So both Dr. Hussein and I were a part of that. And so that is how his dream project came about. It started at that time, about 75, 76. Now, I have been connected since that time. Till I think all along I would like to remain connected. Today's workshop, coming back to the, the real essence of today's efforts that all of you, uh, the Slip Mega Young organizers, have initiated. I want to congratulate them that it's not an easy job to actually do anything online these days. The idea of this workshop, as far as I'm concerned, is not so much to really make all of you who have joined here today to make you adept in the art form, but 
to make you acquainted. Those of you who are not at all familiar with dance, you will perhaps find something which is fascinating that will catch your attention, that will have your interest, that will catch your interest. So for those who have learned another art form, for you, you will be able to understand what are the differences between the Mohini art of movements and the style that you have learned. For those who have learned Mohini art, perhaps they will be able to understand that the style that they have learned, how that style is a little different from what Alamitra Kalyanakuyama style is. What is the aesthetic beauty the movements of Kalyanakuyama has brought about in so these are the three. Uh, uh, these are the three ways I think my workshop may be able to captivate your attention. Now here it's a challenge. It's going to be very very challenging because in an offline in an offline workshop, you see I can go to each and every dancer who's learning and correct the movements that you know, I can pull the hand, I can pull the leg, I can do. You know, the body which is bent forward, I can make it sit straight and do many things, you know, and correct the posture and all. But here, unfortunately, I can really tell you, correct it this way or that way. I'm not able to physically reach you. But what is the aim behind this whole workshop? Aim is to create a vibrant atmosphere. By your doing it, you are not actually seeing it theoretically. You are actually trying to become what you are. Say, if you are a Sukha, you are a Devati or, or a Malavika, you yourself within that given space where you are dancing, you will realize that you have built up a kind of a vibrancy, that an energy that you have tried to build up inside you. And that vibrant energy is required in the present current pandemic situation where there is a diminishing interest in every activity. Everybody is using an interest in whatever they are doing, not just art, anything that they are doing. There is a fast kind of a, a negative atmosphere all around us. So as an artist, as the young learners, I want you, let us rekindle that interest in all of us. Let us build up that losing energy, that vibrance. Let us all come together. Let us say that this world is a world of arts. Let us all come together and learn this beautiful study which we call as I would understand because I have, this is the first time that I am actually conducting a workshop. This is a lecture demonstrations and seminars and all Buddha kinds. We give many a Patrati or uh, except for certain queries that came about, I didn't have much to worry about. But here my role changes. So I would like all of you to help me in understanding how to do, give my best uh, in, for this workshop. Because ultimately we should come out of these five days learning with something that will take you forward in your life. Sabse pehle ko mein chaungi ki agar Anjali ko lagta hai it is possible. To mein chaungi sabse mera ek introduction sab log aapna naam dege mujhe batayin ki ki umar kya hai or kya unhone dance sikha hai or ever sikha hai to kaunsa kaunsi shayi sikhi hai to mujhe I get some idea of how many students I mean who have uh, who have registered today who have been here today for this workshop how many of them are actually uh, uh, are new learners beginners and how many of them have actually learned some movement and after that brief introduction then I will take you to um, certain basic foot movements, certain basic hand movements, certain basic body movements, which are very, very essential part of Mohini Atom, the Mohini Atom style. 
and then I would, uh, with whatever footwork and movements that I teach you, I will, I have, I will compose it in a sort of a melody, and with that melody, let us see how we can sway it, like the green palm trees, the coconut palm trees, the rivulets, the rivers, you know, the waves of the oceans. Let us all come together and enjoy this. So, until is it possible for me to have an introduction? Uh, sorry for interrupting. Uh, इस वर्कशॉप में मैं एक अनाउंसमेंट करना चाहती हूं कि इस इस वर्कशॉप में गुरुजी के साथ आ, उनके सीनियर डिसाइपल्स भी मौजूद हैं जो जिनसे हमें सीखने का मौ, मौका मिलेगा मालविका अजिक अजिक कुमार रेवती सुरभि नमबिशम ये तीन डिसाइपल्स भी हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं आज इस वर्कशॉप में वेलकम टू द ग्रुप वेलकम टू द वर्कशॉप So can I be introduced to the students? Yes, please continue, Anjali. Uh, so I've been uh, unmuting each one of you one by one. You will uh, have to tell I will learn la uh, dance and which form you have learned till now. Okay. Swara Savant, please unmute your office. My uh, Namaste. My name is Swara Savant. Um, and, and what I have to say. You have to say your name, age, and uh, the prior training of dancing, if you have any. My age is 12 and... And what is your name? My name is Swara Savant. And do you have any training? Uh, dance training? Yes. In which dance form? In Bharat Natyam. Okay. Good. Thank you, Swara. Welcome. Malvika, please unmute yourself. We can go to the next one. She can yes. Yeah. Just go on to the next one so that you can join later. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ridhika, please unmute Yes, Anjali, you are audible. I think, oh. Uh, so, next, we will take the next one. We will take the next one. Yes. 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 Namaste, my name is Gantavya and I am 15 years old and I am professionally trained in Bharatnatyam and Kathak. Thank you.
हेलो नमस्ते कैन यू हियर मी दीदी यस वी कैन हाँ हाँ नमस्ते आई एम बनश्री मेहरा आई एम फ्रॉम वेस्ट बेंगाल एंड आई कंप्लीटेड माय मणिपुरी डांस फॉर्म विश्व भारती एंड स्टिल नाउ आई एम लर्निंग कुचिपुरी डांस ओके थैंक यू नमस्ते Devlin, can you un uh, unmute yourself? Yeah, please go. to the next one yes uh, anjali please take to uh, uh, arshia latha i think uh, she is in a group please unmute uh, you can also unmute uh, shayani that person Are they having problem in checking? It should take more than a second to click and enter. Then take the practice of uh, Bharatnatyam. Ashia, can you repeat uh, the introduction? My name is Arshia Ladha, and I am of ten years, and uh, I have took the practice of Bharat Natyam. Okay. Oh, Sama, can you unmute yourself? नमस्ते मैम दिस इज तनिशा कैशी फ्रॉम सन बीम स्कूल लहतारा आई डोंट हैव एनी ट्रेनिंग इन एनी डांस फॉर्म बट आई हैव लर्न अ बिट ऑफ भरतनाट्यम Karam, uh, this is Reena Velu. I have uh, I a uh, student of uh, Deepthi Ma'am only and uh, done Bharat Natyam and uh, now pursuing Mohini Art. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wants to give introduction? Can please uh, raise your hand, and I'll unmute that person. Yeah, uh, we can do one thing that uh, in between, I can those of you who have not been able to join or who have not been able to connect now. In between, when I take say about a five minute break, I can again interact. Then those others can introduce themselves. Even that is possible. So, so yes, um, uh, whoever, how many participants are there now? Or sixty-two. Sixty-two. So okay. that's okay. That we take time also for them to connect. Okay. Right? So uh, let me start with uh, the basic footwork. Okay. Uh, I will uh, 
just say one thing that for those of you who have learned Kathak or Bharatanatyam, Kuchumbi or Manipuri, not Manipuri but other dance forms, uh, we have to really see that the movement uh, in Lumini Atam is very soft and subtle. So there is why a Bharatanatyam or a Kathak when you, when you say one, two, three, four, there is a correct there is a stamping of foot or you know some way to show the four counts very clear that four counts are shown by your footwork but when it comes to Purniyatam there is no sharp uh, emphasis on all the four counts there will be an emphasis on the first count and the last count the in-between counts are always taken as the sway but that sway also has a pramana, also has a spacing. You can't just do any kind of spacing. That spacing has to be perfect in such a way that when you reach the last count, it should gel with the correct spacing of time. So it is more difficult because here your body has to take that strain of bending down and then moving up and bending down. So first I will start with the basic standing posture, the basic bending positions, and the footwork, right? And then we will slowly move forward. Now, uh, Anjali, I just wanted to know, when I'm doing this, can I see at least six of them doing it when I'm doing So that, you know, otherwise I don't come to know, I'll never come to know whether they are able to pick it up or not. I'm sure they will, but I should see that. Is it possible? Uh, is it possible for me to, I think we can put it here to see six of them in the screen. So, let's see. Okay. So, though I'm not able to see very clearly, but at least something is better. So, uh, can all of you see my feet? Samapara. 
Can you see? I think you can see now. Now, just keep a, a, a space of about one feet between both these, both the feet, both the feet. Tilt it slightly towards the two corners. Not too much. It should be just slightly tilted, enough for it to point towards one corner. That is called as the Rayeshra. Now, Vartamana also, it's somewhat similar to Vartamana. There are two kinds you can call it Vartamana also, but a better posture, the foot posture is Rayeshra foot. Rayesh. Then, after that, you have, when you lift the feet, one of the feet, the other remains in Samapada. Samapada means the entire feet is foot is touching the ground. So while the left foot is touching the ground, the right foot folds up a little up near the left foot with fingers curled outwards. That is called as only the fingers, only the toes are touching the ground. That is called as Anchita. And when if you place the same foot with the heel touching the ground and the toes raised up, it becomes the Agratala Sanchara. Agratala Sanchara, Anjita, starting with Sama, Prayasha, that is one feet between both, one foot distance between both the feet, pointing sideways. You bring, curl the, uh, curl the toes, Anjita, Anjita, Akratala Sanchara, and one very important foot uh, posture is Suchi, wherein only the thumb of that toe, the thumb toe, is actually touching. And this is used for certain movements where, you know, you take a backward movement. So only that particular toe is moved. Not all the fingers, toes are not moved. Only that particular toe is moved when you take certain movements backwards. Only that particular toe that is. So that's called as suji. Then there is another foot uh, movement which you call as udghatena where you actually hit the ground with your heel. So you have Sama, you have Rayasha with one feet foot distance, Rayasha, you have Anjita, you have Agratana Sanchana, you have Suchi, that is Suchi, and uh, suji and Udghati, where you stamp with your feet. Now, this is these are certain basic what you call as sthanakas, and after this, after the sthanakas, we then come to what we call as the mandalas in Mohiniyattu. Mandalas are basic four basic standing postures. I think. Can you see me, all of you? Yeah. Now, in Mandala, the first, you put your hands in Tripataka. This is Pataka. And for Bhartanatyam, of course, it is in Tripataka. But here, in Mohiniyattam, this is Pataka. Now, this has to be folded in such a way, in front, a little above your chest, there should be an angle and small little space between the fingers should not be touching. Slight little space, about a say uh, a one palm distance, little more than one palm distance, just below your neck, above your shoulders. Right? Keep both your feet together, placed together in Samapata. Go to Trayash. 
widen your feet to pressure position. You bend one fourth. One fourth is called as Kal Mandalam. You bend a little more, that is half position. Half is called as Aramandalam. Then you bend a three fourth, that is called as Muru Mandalam, uh, Mukkal Mandalam. And then completely you keep your hip touching your uh, heel. Both the heels of the feet are touching your hip. That is Muru Mandalam. Complete bend. Muru Mandalam, Mukkal Mandalam, Ara Mandalam, Kal Mandalam, Sun. Right? Now let me see all of you doing that. I'll start. One of uh, Devati will come here and do it for you. Samapatam with your arms in front of you in Pataka Mudra. Slightly widen your feet, both your feet to Trayasha, keeping one foot distance between both the foot, one foot distance between the heels. This is the, you stand after Samapadam, you start taking the Khan Mandala, one fourth bend of the body. Ara Mandala, half a bend. Ukkal Mandala, three fourth of the bend. And Guru Mandala, when you are completely sitting on your heels. So these are the four Muru Mandala, Mukkal Mandala, Ara Mandala, Kal Mandala, and coming back to Samapara, keeping both your feet together, Samapara. Right? So these are the four, that is the basic standing and bent position of the knees. When you bend the, the, the knees are bent to different uh, positions, you create these four different uh, stances. Then let us see the basic Padabhedas. Now Padabhedas, according to Kalyani Kuti she has changed certain terms which actually generally are adopted in other dance forms like Paranatyam or Kuchuri and uh, maybe even Kathak, I don't know. But in Bharatanatyam and some of the southern classical dance forms, they are adopted. Whatever the name has been given in Adhishastra and Adhinath and Pana, these are the important texts they follow. They, those terms are slightly given a different term as far as Kalyan Kriyama is concerned. Primarily because she felt that Mohini Atam cannot, the, the movement of the feet or the body or the eye expressions cannot really adhere to the specifications given in many of these texts. So it, she evolved her own interpretation of certain terms which includes this Padavedas. The Padavedas, she gave it as Pamada Gatigar. That means a particular way of moving your feet or foot. So the first movement that she has actually brought out five, but I will be just focusing on three because our this workshop will be confined only to the first three. The other two uh, comes generally. The other two are adopted when you are doing some some some. Abhinaya portion or some Nithya portion with a, with a composition in general terms. So let us see the first most important movement of Mohiniyata. That is called as the Sarpa Padam. When you move slightly, then you start Suji from in front of the right foot in front of the left. Slowly, you take it, curl it back into a circle 
and this comes in the form of anushika at the back of the left foot similarly and then once you have taken it at the back you keep it down and repeat the same from the left foot in sochi that is only the thumb to is to touch the ground go behind the heel of the right foot slowly touch it down to samapara take the right foot go behind in anushika step down take the left foot go behind the right foot step down in all these you have also to take a body movement i'll show you how to do the body movement. this is this is akimbo what you call it in english you place your hand just near your waist the other hand is holding a mushti this is how you get a mushti fingers are curled and the thumb actually coming in front of the fingers this is mushti some in some uh, people do have uh, the little finger a little turned upwards but you need not do that you can keep it completely like a fist with the thumb coming before the fingers right you turn this outwards arm and this is your basic standing posture right now this standing posture of mohini atam has another important foot position now this if this is the hand position you have to stand erect this is your hand position feet you have to be careful if one is in trayashtra if one is in trayashtra the other is also in trayashtra but slightly placed before uh, in on the right side this is the movement this is the position in which uh, the mohini atam the first basic standing posture whether you are beginning a padam a composition the first basic starting posture of the dancer is this posture with the feet in this position one in the samapada both are in samapada one slightly turned towards right one is in trayashtra the other slightly turned towards side and then so now you have this and you have to bend a little to the right side the neck also to the right side and your eyes eyes should look not up but it should look to the left corner in front not exactly below your eye level but slightly to the left corner ground so it should be on the ground level your eyes and to the spectator it should look that you are actually half closed your eyes you know if you look like straight that does not give a feeling of what you call as a softness or uh, what you call as a the, the shringara position because mohiniyattam is basically a shringara pradhana dance form so when you want to depict that shringara pradhana dance form the manner in which you stand actually should depict that shringara so there has to be a subtleness in your body form you should take this position look to the side and on to the floor with a smile on your lips which is called as smita smile that is what the yogi putya used to say you should have a smita to not too much of a, a smile with the cheeks moving up but just a subtle um the subtle way of showing to the people that there is a smile almost a smile that is coming on the face you know it should not clear cut define the smile that is called as a smita smile and this smita smile throughout your nritya and nritta movement throughout your nritta nritya movement should remain unless you are showing any particular bhava wherein the smita smile is not to be shown but whenever you do any pure dance any nritta 
this should always remain on your face no matter how energy how much of effort you are making to execute your movements this is an indication to show to the spectators that you are doing every movement in complete peace so this is the standing posture now so you have the sarvapada so you stand like this first then there is a sarvapada this is the sarvapada now the second movement of the feet the pada the the second which i am saying important is what you call as the manduka pada uh manduka pada is called as actually meant as a frog sleeps you know the way the frog sleeps so you have one you stamp your feet with your put it in prayashra position you are standing you stamp with your right foot hey hey ki you bend down to half move up and jump with the right foot remaining on the ground the left foot feet up and softly placing the cross alongside the right foot i'll show again one one two one one two one one two now when you are bending it should not be you can't immediately with a sharp uh, bend you can't bend every time that you are bending it has to be slow bending slow moving up which is a very very difficult task you see bending immediately with a sharp bend getting up immediately is not so stressful and straightforward but in mukhi atam so it looks a very easy style but when you are bending slowly from kaal to ara and then slowly moving up this moving up and down is a very very strenuous kind of a movement so let us do manduka pada again you are standing uh, in the sitting at the ara mandi half one one two One, bend down. One, two. Are you bending? Bend again. One, two. One, one, two. So this is your manu kapar. This is called as the frog sleep. Now one thing all of you should pay attention here is, as per Kalamitlan Kalyanjama, no two feet. at the same time should keep the flow they should be firmly if you are jumping or trying to show that you are jumping at least one foot should remain on the ground so even if i am giving you an impression that actually i am jumping but actually i am not jumping with both the feet this is something you will find in many of the classical dances where they allow both the feet to move up together right go they call as the akasha chari in chari girl they call it as akasha chari here we have only bhumi bhumi chari so here the the nam tai the tai tai the tai tai now this is called as the manduka pada then the third one which is again very beautiful is like a peacock moving up moving to different sides hold your toes you stand on your toes and try to move up to different corners whenever you want to move up so this movement is all called as manduka pada so we have i show again sarvapadam or also called as nada bandha because this is how the snake moves so this movement is 
Nagabandham or Sarpapadam. Then you have Vandukapadam. Dhe. 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 One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Are you One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this is a Mayura part. And I'll show you the Hamsa Padam. I don't know whether how best you would be able to do. Hamsa Padam is you move up the right face in front, slightly move up your chest in front, and then move up. Lift your leg, move up, slightly move down, move up. Lift your leg, move down, move up. So, Hamsa, when you try to show, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. It's like a swan. You go down into the water and then move up. Go down into the water and move up, like the way the crane or the swan. Of course, you have to use a particular mudra for that and the body. Now, this is the second part of the body, the footwork. Now, doing a footwork or doing a hasta mudra is not enough, or a body movement is not enough. You have to put in your soul into that movement. Your complete you should get a feeling that you are actually experiencing grace, subtleness, a kind of a, a kind of a, you know a softness that should come from within. The moment your expression becomes harsh, bold, that feeling which is inside also becomes harsh and bold. This is a very important thing that you must all remember. As a dancer in Mohiniyattu, the moment you start a movement, you should feel from inside that you are a Mohini. You are a grace embodiment. You are an embodiment of grace. Then only that movement will come out in the form of a light, graceful, and soft and subtle movement. So when you are doing a Naga Bhagavan, there is a Smita smile and I sit on my knees, slightly bend on my knees. This is how you move like this. And from left, you twist your body also to the right. Twist your body to the right. Twist your body to the right. Left, right, left, right. Left and right. Right? So this should come automatically. Similarly, when you are doing the Manduka pattern, one, one, two, one, one, two. That stamping should be just soft enough for people to know that you have stamped. Not you can't do it with a with a loud thumping of your feet. That's not allowed. It has to be softly stamped, but not too soft for the spectator not being able to understand that you are adept in Daya. Let me tell all of you, many a times, this is a drawback of many of the dancers, which I also understood much later, that even if you are very sure of the space between the cars, you have to very clearly show to the spectator, you have to convince the spectator that you have, are completely in command of these spaces. Now suppose I just say, I just do like this. Nobody would know that I have already counted five. Five, 
based upwards. Anchita, Agratal Sanchara, Agratal Sanchara, the toes touching the ground and heaves up. Then you have the uh, Suchi, Suchi, then you have the Ukhatika, that is your heel, the, the heel hitting on the ground. So these are the, the certain foot movements. And then the Padagatika, how do you move with the body? So first is the Sarpapada. With your uh, toe, the thumb toe, you move up and then the left turn to the here and the movement. And then, then you do the Mayuga Pada. Mayuga Pada. Mayuga Pada is a frog's game. One, one, Two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. Then you move with the uh, come, come to the center. Mayura pattern. That means going with your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Now here when actually when we are doing the body movements, so when you do the Mayuda pattern, the store ultimately six, seven, eight, you are putting it in your uh, anchita. You are raising your feet with your knee, with your knee, uh, with your heel touching the ground. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the way we generally do when we are doing the movement, right? And similarly, when you are doing the hamsapada, one, push, push up your chest, roll it backwards, and then straighten up your back, lift your left leg, push up your chest a little in front, roll your backward, go to backwards, push up your right, move your chest in front, Come back to your straightened position of the back and this is how you do. So when you are doing it with a mudra, you, you get a feel that this is the hamsa. So you move up, move up, then you move down with your beak, you move up, you move down with your beak and you move up. So this is how when you are doing the movement of a swan, this is how you do. Uh, now, all these mudras, I mean, all these body movements, these are the basic ones. Of course, there are many others which actually emerge from these, which actually emerge from these. So these are the basic foot movements, the pen posture and also the um, body movement. Now let us come to what are the important hastas that you show when you are doing this. I'm sorry to say now because this is a workshop, I'm only focusing on the most important things so that we could come at the end with some kind of a movement. So I'm not going in the regular manner that we generally use. Generally do. The Nritta Hastas, that means those Hastas which do not carry any meaning, but they are only a part of your body movement 
that and helps that movement, the enhancement of that movement. So those Nitta Hastas are primarily concerned with the enhancement of your body movements. So what are those mudras? First is Tripataka, which I showed to you. This is the Tripataka, wherein your fingers, your thumb should touch the side, the tip of your forefinger, and all your fingers should touch each other. Tripataka, that is the first sign of Tripataka. Pataka is different. Please remember the pataka given in Abhinaya Darpana used by other dance forms is different from the, the Hasta Mudras we use in Mohiniyatam, which follows Hasta Lakshana Deepika text, which is exclusively meant for Mohiniyatam and Tathaka. Right? Here, this position is called as pataka. This is one. Second is Anjali. You know, when you fold your hands and you beg, please give me, or you do namaste. This is connected with namaste. So, this is Anjali. The third is Artha Chandra. Now, these Hasta Mudras are, please remember again and again, I'm telling, these mudras are very different from what is given in Nanti Shastra and Abhinaya Darpana. They are only found adopted in the Hasta Lakshana Deepika and another Hasta Lakshana Deepika mainly, right? So this is Ardha Chandra, wherein only this finger, pointing finger is pointing outwards. The thumb goes to the side and the fingers are slightly bent inside. They are not curled, but they are bent inside. Ardha Chandra, then we have Hamsasya. This hamsasya has four finger and middle finger coming together. And the ring finger and the little finger is standing straight. The, the ring finger is slightly bent forward, though it is straight, but slightly bent forward. So this is the hamsasya. Then you have uh, another pataka, um, Anjali, hamsasya, anapadma. Now, Ala Padma is not even, please see this, and you can see this. Ala Padma is a very common mudra used in uh, what do you call as Karat uh, uh, also, which is in Abhinaya This Ala Padma is only used in, it is used in Mohiniyata, right? So, we have Tripataka, we have Anjali. When, how do you come to know that how much should be the, the depression inside your, the, the inner side of your palm is based on how when you fall into the Namaskar, that should be the depression there, not too much. You can't do like this, it changes. Just fold your hands as doing Namaste and then you take it outwards, it becomes uh, Anjali. Then you have Artha Chandra, where we say, you know what, what is the reason? Why do you want to do it? What is it? So for that, we use this kind of a Artha Chandra. Then you have Hamsasya. And when you do this, move your four middle and thumb together in a circular manner. This shows, it means that, oh, please give me some mercy. And it means softness, you know, oh, the raindrops are so softly pouring on the ground, softly coming to the ground or falling onto the ground. So anything, the snow, you know, the soft falling of the snow, all these things we use this kind of process. Now, that also I'll explain later why the same mudra becomes when it gets a meaning, what happens then, right? So you have Kamsasya, then you have Gushti. Uh, Ala Padma. You have Ala Padma. You see that how this should be the manner in which you catch the Ala Padma. See the position of every finger is different from the other finger. The pointing finger moves, is straightened up. The next finger, the middle finger is slightly tilted. The ring finger is also tilted. 
and the little finger is slightly bent towards the floor. The thumb, the thumb is pointing outwards. So when you do like this, how beautifully you see it. Now suppose I don't use like this and I do like this. This also is alapat. But the spacing and the tilt of the fingers differs. This is how it should be. Open up all your fingers. Open up completely your fingers. This should be the position. So this is alapat. Which to show how beautiful. Now this is something that Mohaniyatamat has Mohaniyatam has borrowed from a certain other texts also, right? Um, then we have mushti. Mushti, as I said in the beginning, you curl all your fingers inside. And the thumb should be exactly in the middle of these folded fingers. To some people, uh, some gurus also raise the little finger a little higher, higher up. And that is also correct. But I have learned it, so I'm teaching like this. Okay? This is how I learned mushti. That is to hit, you know, or to show that you are a Valiant, you are the kind of a king who is fearless and all that. So, a strong king, a mighty warrior, and all that. So, that's all you use this mushti. These are mainly the main nritta hastas that you adopt for Mohiniyat. Um, now, I'm going to show you the, the, the namaskar, which is the most important, without which we do not start our. Uh, any kind of big of attempts. So, yeah. place both your feet together, some apart. Now, catch, I'll show again. This is how with Tripatakam, you bring this together, do not touch, slight distance between them, and your arms, you see how it has been turned. It should have a kind of a tilt folded at the uh, el elbow. And move back. Samapada, with this posture, slightly bend forward, slightly. You move both these hands. Now, remember, this arm should not be in any way moving. You are actually slightly moving your, not wrist, but the palm. Move up above your head. In your side, you can see it. You go to the back. Can you see it? So this is your namaskar. And remember that above your head should not be right exactly above your head or behind your head. It should be in front. Those of you who have already learned Bharatanatyam or anything will find what I am saying will be able to understand. But this is for those who have not heard the terms. It should be slightly in front of your head, above your head, but slightly in front. Now, this is how you hold your position. Lift up your right leg. This right leg should have your thumb toe pulling outwards. It should point outwards. And the heel should be right in front of the left knee. It should be right in, just in the same line as your knee position. If this is your knee, it should be just in front of the knee. So you have this, namaste, you lift it up, slowly bring down your hand and feet. Hands in front of your chest. Remember, it should not touch your chest, it should be one, one arm is one, palm distance between your chest and the hand. This is the position. So, from above your head, slowly bring it down to in front of your chest. The feet is now slightly in near the summer, the summer position of your left foot. So, you bring this, bring it down and one, two. Now, when you are bringing this down, it should be slightly in front of your left foot. Watch it again. Samapadam, you bend forward. Lift your hands again, up, upwards. 
lift up your right leg bring down your bring down your hand place your right foot in front along with the arms the arms from the chest along with when the when the right leg moves forward the arms from the chest along with that right leg should move forward and then place your left foot exactly with the right foot i'll show again from this please watch carefully because that is why i'm doing this namaskar much later samapadam your hands in vipadam move up in front of your head lift up lift up your right leg and slowly bring it in front in front of your left foot bring the left foot and join with the right foot this is how the movement of the leg goes how does the hand move it moves to the side lifts your right leg it brings down comes to the chest level when the left leg is moving downwards it comes to the chest level along with the leg the hand moves forward so the leg moves forward and the hand moves forward trayasha you move the feet pointing upwards bring sit down to murumandalam bend the knee forward bring the arms a little closer to the chest not touching again there should be a palm distance so if it is right in front a little backwards and lift up your anjali namaskar it was like this now it is turned upwards move up slowly then with the same hand and the feet do the nagavarnam one satpadam two three when you do this one two in the three from the left side you move down move to the right and come to the static position of completion right now this is see it appears to be a very simple namaskar but so much of things need to be focused before the whole movement becomes a complete unified and aesthetically beautiful form aesthetically beautiful uh, figure right shape or structure so you have let's start again samapadam you move up three four in the fourth the left leg the left foot should join the right feet prayashra both the feet sit down one two three four one two three four by fourth your anjali position should already would have moved up one two three four join both your foot it was in prayashra join both your foot then one two three look to the left side one two three look to the right and looking from the left side you move up roll to the right and come to the center so uh this is how
can I have some feedback if there is any doubt with regards to the uh, Namaskar? Before I start the first two adapters, can I have the feedback please? Can at least four of you or six of you in the same uh, screen show me this? Because I want to know whether uh, I have reached the Is it possible for me to see what I have drawn? I request to the Yeah. Please, uh, do, uh, if you want to give a feedback. How much you have learned? Raise your hand. And we will unmute you. I need to see what they have understood. Sam, can you teach the final step of the Namaskaram again? Uh, you want me to show it again? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. There are, there are going to be four, four counts. You do the four, four counts and do it, right? Stand at the sum of one, two, three, and as I said, I cannot specifically say one, two, three, and four. You cannot do that with the Mohinya. It has to be very clearly done in a very single round movement, right? One, two, three, and four. Now, in the four, you have joined, right? Lift up, one, two. By the time you say two, this, this leg should have taken the position. One, two, three, and four. In the fourth, you have joined your left foot. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Join your feet. One, two, three, and four. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? I'll do it again. I'll do it with an eight count so that you're able to understand better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Have you understood? Can I see? Yes, ma'am. Show me. Uh, you count it and then say. Because when I say, when I count from here, it may not reach you exactly at that time. Or can you hear me? Count it and see. Let me see how your Kala Pramana is. Yes, One, ma'am. Okay, start. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, 
Yeah, I was muted, ma'am. I'll do it again. One, two, three, start. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that clear to all? Anjali, do you think I can go ahead or should I uh, ask everybody to do it again? Unfortunately, I'm not able to hear anything right now. So I really don't know. Can I uh, pardon? Ma'am, you can ask uh, students to... Uh... Yeah, that's what, I, but nobody is coming forward. I want to say that all students who have enrolled today, please be feel free to talk to me. This is not this is not a platform where you are going to be tested, uh, you know, for any competition. This is a platform where it, you should you should be happy to join, and you should be happy to learn. And if I get the more responses I get from you, you know, I also will be happy to teach. Right? So let me hear some of you now. Guruji ne jo sikhaya, wo agar kisi ko dubara video mein dikhana hai, to please raise hand kar dijiye. Raise hand karke mujhe dikha dijiye. Haan, raise hand karke mujhe dikha dijiye. Ek bar, please. Ah, yeah, there's somebody there who wants to. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, say your name first and then do it, please, because so that I understand what it is. There are too many photos, huh? Tell your name first. Ma'am, Yashashvi Anand. Yashashvi, okay. Yashashvi. Yes, ma'am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four. Can I do it again? Yeah, do it again. You think there are there are four different movements. One, two, three, four. That's the first five, movement. Seven. You lift up your feet and five, six, seven, eight is when you bring your hand and feet to forward, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight should end that movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now sit down. Slowly sit down and the hand also slowly being brought back. While slowly sit down, eight counts may need your bed now. You have to slowly sit down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a kadevaja. 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 Heart apna tumara saamne hai. Your hand are in front. Now slowly sit down. One, no, you are sitting fast. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Four, no, the hand remains there only. The hand which is forward slightly comes to the position, the first position. You are sitting down when it is come. Now slowly get up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you have got up very fast. You have got up very fast because by the time you say five, six, seven, eight, you are already standing up. Only in the eighth count you have supposed to stand up. Okay? Only in the eighth count. You're supposed to stand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now you move backwards from the left. You take a turn from the left to the right. 
from the right corner to the left corner, from the left corner to the right corner. And then finally from the left side, bow forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do it again. Can from starting? Well, it's your wish. How do you want to do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Four, five, five, six, seven, eight. You should have come down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correct. Sit down. Slowly sit down. Five, six, seven, eight. Slowly get up. Two, three, four. Slowly get up. Six, seven, eight. Yes, from the left. Good. I think you've caught up. You you might see. Anybody else? Can can I have one more person to do it? Can I have one more person to do it? Come on, come forward. Don't be hesitant with me. I'll teach you. Don't worry, I'm a good teacher. I've been teaching for the last more than 30, 25 years. Feel free to talk to me. And one. Have it up. Do be here. Say your name first because I am not able to see here. My name is Swara Savan. My dear, yes, tell me. No, stand. Show me the hello, hello. What's the name? Swara. Swara, Swara, can you hear me? Before you start any movement, there has to be the starting point. Always remember, you cannot start a movement without the starting point. Zero ki baadi one aayega na. Ekdam se one pe to nahi ja sakte. Pehle yahan pe pause hona chahiye, resting point hona chahiye, jahan se aap start karte. So, first, Trayeshra me khade ko, Samapada me khade ro. And put your hands like this so that people know that hey, now you are starting the movement. Okay? And then come to me and then you start the movement. Um, first, you stand in the sound position. Swara. Start again. I didn't see it. Start again. Start again. First you take it for Now, Swara, what is uh, what you need to understand is that you cannot do some movements fast and some movements slow. Whichever speed that you are starting, that speed should remain the same when you end a movement. Right? This is called as Kala Pramana. In South, we call it as Kala Pramana. Right? You must remember that if you are starting like one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. You can't go like that. Understand? It should remain till the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should remain the same speed every time. Remember that. Right? 
Yeah, thanks, Swara. The other one, the other girl. Anjita. Anjal. Anjal. Yes, ma'am. My name is Anjal. In summer position. First hand in summer position. Yeah, with both, both hands in your, uh, uh, you can fold it in Anjali. Both hands. Yes, ma'am. Now you start. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Okay. Now, uh, so you will have to pay a little more attention to uh, what I'm teaching again. Okay. Uh, try to record, try to capture in your mobile or somewhere so that you are able to understand. I will also show these movements on through my PPT to you so that you get a clearer uh, picture of how this is to be performed. Next one. Uh, my name is Gantapriya. Say your name, please. I can't. Yes, ma'am. My name is Gantapriya. Who is My name is Geshna. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay. Next. Who's the next one? Namaste, ma'am. My name is Gantavya. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three. Danda, you first stand. Hello, can you listen? Keep both your feet together. You are supposed to keep both your feet together. You cannot stand like that. First, you, you stand in the correct position. Stand in the correct posture. Keep both your One, feet together. Two, three, yes. Four, that five. is called as What is it called? Samapada. Samapada. Sama means equal. When both your feet are put placed together, it is called as equal. Sama. Samapada. Now you put your, both your hands, hold it in your anjali. Namaskar pose. Right. That is your correct position. Right. Let us start from there now. Minutes before I start the first quarter of the 
Asha, can you hear me? Asha, can you hear me? Uh, okay, I can't hear you. Now, when you when you come tomorrow, when you come tomorrow, uh, you wear. Do you have a pajama and a top? You have a pajama and a top. वो पहन के आना, ठीक है? वो पहन के आना, हाँ. आप अच्छा कर रहे हो. और थोड़ा सा ध्यान से देखो जो मैं सिखा रही हूँ, वो हो जाए. 
अच्छा नेक्स्ट ठीक है गुड जस्ट कीप फॉलोइंग नेक्स्ट कौन है कौन है नेक्स्ट कौन आ रहा है स्टूडेंट्स बट कोई भी मेरे को दिखा नहीं रहा है स्क्रीन में दिखाओ बेटा अदरवाइज टू वन सी एन हम लोग कैसे परफॉर्म करेंगे शास्त्र और अभिनय दर्पण No, you see, uh, I must say here, are you uh, studying uh, or? Uh, yeah, I am a teacher of Indian classical dance, Kathak. So okay. we have subject and we have Mohini Atam also in the theory. All right. See, I and your good name? Mona Shukla. Mona. And you came to my school in Dehradun, Hope Town Girls School. Okay, okay. Uh, but I just want to. I just want to say uh, that you see every dance style. When you say Nati Shastra and Abhinay Darpana, it does not mean that these are the only two texts which you for uh, which are adopted by every classical dance. Now you are a student of Kathak. You perform Kathak. Kathak does not fully adhere to Abhinay Darpana and Nati Shastra. It has its own text. Every classical dance form has its own text, which tells us what are the kind of body movements you must have, what are the kind of hand gestures you must have, everything. But why we refer always connect to Nati Shastra and Abhinay Darpana is these are the two very very important texts that completely cover every aspect of dance. Is it not every aspect of dance? So. When we connect with these texts, we come to know okay, there is some movement that is given here which you find in your text books. For instance, I was telling you about this pataka, and we have this is for us pataka is this with the bent position. Okay. And this is the pataka. Whereas if you go by these texts which is there in Abhinay Darpan and all, this is this is not pataka. This is pataka which does not have a bend of the finger that is patak and this becomes the patak whereas we are having opposite of that why because we have a separate text text which is called as hastalakshana deepika that's a different text hastalakshana deepika okay but, but because mohini atam adopts lot of abhinaya and lot of hasta mudras Some of the mudras which is not given in Hasta Lakshana Deepika, we have to search for other text. So we are trying to take out from Abhinay Darpana and Nati Shastra. Okay. Some of the mudras which is not there in Hasta Lakshana Deepika, we try to take it from uh, Abhinay Darpana and uh, like Kala Padma. Kala Padma is not there a part of Hasta Lakshana Deepika, but we have taken it from Abhinay. So like that, there are some some hand gestures which we have taken. Like uh, we have another text which is called as Badarama Kalpam, you know, which is not there in Hasta Lakshana Deepika. This particular movement of we have this, but we don't have this plain Veena. When we want to show plain Veena, you know that way. So when you want to show Veena, we are using this hand, right? This is not a part of Hasta Lakshana Deepika. We have taken from another Malayalam text that is Badarama Kalpam. And this is there in Nati Shastra also. So these are some of the hand gestures that we have tried to adopt from Abhinay Darpana and Nati Shastra. So you and uh, like Mohini Atam and Kathakali, they both have same uh, Hasta Mudras. Yes, both have the same text, Hasta Lakshana, Hasta Lakshana. Lakshana. 
लक्षण हस्त के लक्षण दीपिका दीपिका मीन्स कंपेंडियम वो जो से है ना इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ अ टेक्स्ट हस्त ना हस्त लक्षण दीपिका दैट व्हिच शोस लाइट इनटू दैट हस्त नाउ कैन आई स्टार्ट माय मूवमेंट बिकॉज़ एनीबॉडी एल्स वुड लाइक टू शो मी No, so should I? I'll start the movement. There are certain uh, body movements also that you must see. Now here, you are sitting in that agamanti with your hand like this, as I said, like this, and this is in mushti. This is your basic standing posture. Now you sit in agamanti, half bent position of your knees. Let us take some twisting lessons. That is, like a pendulum. One, two, three. Go to the right side. One, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three. Move little backwards. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll show again. From the left side, bend down. Move a little up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, Malavika, will you show again? Are you there, Malavika? Yeah, show this. Yes, ma'am. These are called as churipu. Churipu means, you know, the movement, the body movement, the the, the twisting kind of a body movement. And uh, balaya, balaya means again certain movements that they do in a kind of a pendulum or a half bend, half crescent shape movement. So you you speak and start. Malika. Oh, yes, ma'am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Have you understood? Uh, this is how this is called as seven. Balayam and Churipu. These are the terms that we have given. Uh, now, uh, I will show you the first movement, which has all that I have shown so far this morning. So, this is the first movement. We sit in Aramandi with folded hands. That is the Namaskar position. We bend down to half. Three, four, one. First, I'll show you the foot movement. This is 
Dayeshra with one feet, one foot distance between both the one foot distance between both the feet. And you are sitting in half bend position. So from the left side, you bend down one, two, bring it to Agratala Sanchara, the toes touching the ground. Three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Slowly bring the left side, left foot to in front of the right foot. Again, you from here you slide, slide it back to its original position. You don't lift it up. You slide it back. Go from the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you there, Surabhi? Is there? Now, Surabhi, you show it again and then Malika so that they have an idea of the movie. I'll do the foot movement. Ah, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Right. Have you understood? I'll teach you again. You just watch my movements, the footwork. I'll come closer to the uh, computer so that you are able to see. Now, you see, this is your summer father. You are putting it in Trayash, right? Now, when you do this movement, you can take a little more distance of one and a half feet. So, from Prayashra, one, you bend two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watch again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. So only in seven and eight you are taking a dip. You have to bend down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I hope you've understood. Now I will show you the hand movements. You are sitting in Namaskar, right? You bend to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll share the screen, ma'am. Share the screen so that they get a clearer picture. Uh, can you enable screen sharing for me? Yes, please. Uh, Shayani or Anjali, can you please uh, enable the screen sharing? Anjali, can you help her in sharing the screen? Uh, yes, I'm able to do it now. Thank you. Is it visible? No, we can't see. We can only see a screen with all those small little clips. Next, we come to the adabos. Adabos are the, the, the beautiful dance units which combine and give a beautiful shape and structure to yes. Mohiniyattam. The adabos in Mohiniyattam have uh, been divided minute, into ma'am. four divisions Thaganam, Jaganam, Dhaganam, Samishra. Show it again. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's okay. Next, we come to the Adabus. Adabus are the, okay. the, the beautiful dance followed by the seven, eight. The, taking now, showing the father movement, the right foot. On its Agratala Sanchara, softly being placed one foot distance, bringing the left toes near the heel of the right foot, taking it back to its position, bringing the right foot again, taking it to one foot distance, lifting softly the left feet, keeping it in front of the right foot on its side. 
So let us see how the Vaitari goes. Tai, Tai, Ti, Ti. The important hand gestures which are used or hastas which are used are Anjali, Tripatakam, Hamsasyam, Alapatma, Arthachandra, Mushti. Now starting with the Anjali, towards the left side with Drishti in front of the hand, you first sit in the Aramandi. The next is ma'am. This is the second. Uh, Can you show it again? Malavika, just show sure, correctly. It just okay, jumped. The path movement. The right foot on its Agratala Sanchara, softly being placed one foot distance bringing the left toes near the heel of the right foot, taking it back to its position, bringing the right foot again, taking it to one foot distance, lifting softly the left feet, keeping it in front of the right foot on its side. So let us see how the Vaitari goes. Tai, Tai, Ti, Ti. The important hand gestures which are used or hastas which are used are Anjali, Tripatakam, Hamsasyam, Alapatma, Arthachandra, Mushti. Now starting with the Anjali, towards the left side with Drishti in front of the hand, you first sit in the Aramandi. We only have this much recorded version now. Now it's the next, the next uh, step. Is... Second step. Okay. Uh, so there is some jumping in this. Uh, you must have understood uh, how it is coming. So uh, would, would any of you who have understood would like to do again or do you want me to do this again, this other move? Because we will stop with this other move. And then I, I will show in the same, uh, uh, through the same other, I will show certain, certain moving, uh, certain important movements that Rumiyatam adopts. Maybe the hand movements may be different, but I will be using only the Anjali movement. So I will show you the second movement. In the second movement, I will show the first movement and then followed by the second movement. This is Aramandi. Tei. Tei. Ti. Ti. Tei. 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 Ti. Ti. This is the first movement. Now the same thing. We can use that placing the feet. Now this is the Trayashtra, right? You bring the right feet a little more to about say one and a half foot distance to the right side. Again in this both are in Trayashtra. This is in Trayashtra, that is in Trayashtra in summer. They are not touching the feet. Now here, this is the position. When you do this movement, you have to bend from the left side and move towards the right corner in front. Right front corner. When you are doing this, the left leg which was originally in some pattern, this goes to Suchi. Watch again. 
You place this at one and a half distance, the right foot. And then you bend your body from the left. When you are moving towards the right front corner, the left foot goes into your suchi. That means the tip of the toe, the thumb toe. Then when you bend back, this comes back again, flat on the ground. And this position, this, the right feet goes into a sarpa pattern, moves behind in this toes, flat on the ground, and the left comes to again the right shrug. Watch me again. This is the movement number two. You are in Trayasha, one feet, one foot distance. Place the right foot to the right front corner, about one and a half foot distance. Bend your body again and take the left turn from the left side, you bend the body, move towards the right front. While you are lifting your body up, the feet, the left foot goes into a toe, the single toe which is suchi. You again sit down, come back and the right feet moves in a sarpa pattern. You move up in your toes, bend and the left foot takes the triestrum again and you sit down. Now watch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move both the feet on the toes. Six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four. In the fold, you are bent to the left side. The feet are in the same position. Five, six, move up. Seven, eight. Right? Now, just show this movement. Who's going to show Sudhi? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do it once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The same from the left side, the same left side. Yes, Show sure. the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do it again from the left side. Yes, yeah, so show sure. the side. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do it once again from uh, I'll do the right side first and then do the left side. One, two, three, start. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नेक्स्ट माधविका Namaskar. This is Anjali. 
and when you do this anjali there has to be a slight dip in your palm you know you just like when you are drinking water you know like you have to make a little dip here so that you are, the water holds here so that is anjali make it straight it becomes tripata all the fingers and thumb join together and the thumb should be in this position it should neither be in front nor back it should touch the tip of your thumb should touch the base of your four finger tripata pataka tripataka so you have anjali you have tripataka you have ardhachandra ardhachandra whenever you do your remember your elbows should never dip it should always be straight straight in the same a uh, level as your shoulder so it should no, not go down it should be same at the shoulder level artha chandra repeat what i am saying the words you can repeat i need not here but you should repeat artha chandra then hamsasya see how my fingers are held the tip of the three fingers four middle and thumb should be together the little finger should point straight upwards the ring finger slightly bent hamsasyam alapadma and pushti now we will start there are about 24 hasta mudras uh, have you understood the the different uh, four different positions of my uh, my bent position of the knees can any one of you just say what are the four bent positions the new learners who is it jeevana jeevana can you tell me what are the four who is it uh, mona mona can you Samam, yeah, Samam, Kamal Mandalam, Kal Mandalam, Ara Mandalam, Mukal Mandalam, Mulu Mandalam. Yeah, what did you say in the beginning? Samapadam, Samapadam, Kal Mandalam, Ara Mandalam, Kal Mandalam, and Mulu Mandalam. Mulu Mandalam. And what do these signify? What are the four bent positions of the knee? Sama means there is no bent position of the knee, right? then yes ma'am kal mandalam is a 1 by 4 uh sitting down and ara mandalam is half sitting and mulu mandalam is 3 by 4 sitting and mulu mandalam is completely sitting down mukkal the 3/4 is called as mukkal mandalam right you said mukkal or mulu mandalam 3/4 is mukkal mukkal right and yes. complete is muru there is a difference between mukkal mukkal and muru mukkal means three foot and muru means full complete sitting post so good the who, who is going to tell me the different pada vedas pada gadigal you know i told you where i said sarpa padam banduka padam i said if you remember anybody who can say that anybody who can say that come on come on hurry up i can see so many uh, names but nobody is coming forward don't hesitate even if you are wrong that's why i'm here who is it raj who is it raj chandra yeah there's nobody who wants to say that sarpa padam mayura padam manduka padam and hamsa padam tanisha come on come forward and speak out you people are very hesitant you are very shy is it you should be shy what is there to feel shy this is the workshop where we are all learning process 
Hmm? Nobody wants to say. Okay. That's not a good sign because I want you to all get rid of that shyness and any kind of inhibition you have. I'm just a like you. So they don't treat me like a big guru and all. I'm just also for me, it's a learning process, right? So don't be hesitant. We had Sarpapadam, like a snake movement. Malavika, can you show that? Just show them what is the snake like movement. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, from the snake with the tip of the thumb, the toe of the foot, and you take a curve, move up on your toes, then you take up again a movement. So it's like a snake movement, right? Then you have Manduka Pada, a frog's leap. Again, Manduka Pada. movements that we adopt in all the Ritta, uh, Ritya when you are doing Ritta. Now uh, tomorrow I will tell you about what is the difference between Ritta, Ritta, Ritya, Abhinaya, some of these terms. And let us start with just some Hasta Mudras, some Hasta Mudras, all of you. Switch on your, uh, open your uh, what you say, video. I want to see you. Pataka. Patakam. Can you see my hand? Is it visible? Patakam. Mudrakyam. Mudrakyam, when you, this is how you use Mudrakyam. And speak when I'm speaking. Mudrakyam. Then this middle finger, fold it inside and let it touch the tip of your thumb, the base, the base of your thumb finger, the base, at the base. So this is how you, this is the picture that you get. You are holding like this, the middle finger slowly bring it down and touch the base of your thumb finger. That's kataka. So there is this goal thing going on. You know, you can see, can you see this? There is a round structure. You have a round, right? That should come. It should not be like this. It should not point like a beak of a bird. It should be round like a ball. Katakam Mushti Kartari Mukham That Kartari Mukham all the four finger, middle and the ring finger are pointing towards front. The little finger moves up and the thumb is touching the middle of the four finger. The middle of the four finger. Kartari Mukham. Then, Shukatundam. That's the bird. Shukatundam. Kapithakam. You say na two. Kapitta kam. You fold the, the middle and the little finger into the palm and place the thumb over it and close, bring close two fingers together, four and the middle. 
Kapitakam Hamsapaksham 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 Hamsasyam, which I already show you. Hamsasyam Anjali Arthajandran. Right? We'll start from the beginning. Patakam Mudrakyam Katakam Mushti Katari Mukham Shukatundam Kapitakam Hamsa Paksham. There is one more in between Shikharam. Shikharam means two or C when you say two or C. Shikharam. Shikharam. Shikharam is like this. You know, Kapitakam was like this. And when you make it like a scissor into two, the straight and two, when you fold it into two, it becomes shikara. Hamsasyam, Anjali, Anjali, Chandra. Right? Now this, I want all of you, you've understood? I will tomorrow ask each one of you whatever I've taught today. Will you practice and come? And now anything that anybody would like to ask. I have five minutes. Another two, three minutes, I think. If Anjali, I'm not mistaken, my work I do. Is it okay? I have any question that you want to ask me? You can wave your hand if you want to ask any question. I don't seem to have inspired you. Uh, Ma'am, can you again show the mudras? Yeah, okay. At least some response I've got. Patakam, where in the forefinger, I mean the ring finger, you fold it in such a way that it is at the perpendicular level of your palm. It comes like this. All fingers held straight. The ring finger is folded at parallel to the ground and perpendicular to the palm. Patakam. Understood? Mudrakyam. Patakam. When you fold the, the middle finger touching the base of your thumb, the base of your thumb, katakam. Mushti Kattari Mukham Shukatunda Kapitakam Kapitakam Hamsa Paksham Uh, sorry, Hamsa. Sorry, Hamsa Paksham is this. Hamsa Paksham. Shikharam. Hamsasyam. Hamsasyam. Anjali. Artha Chandran. We will stop till here. Patakam, Mudrakyam, Katakam, Mushti, uh, Katari Mukham, Katari Mukham, Shukatundam, Kabhitakam, Hamsabaksham, Shikharam, 
हम सास्यम अंजलि अर्धचंद्रन राइट सो एनीबडी वांट्स टू आस्क मी और वी विल वाइंड अप टुडे एंड वी विल फिनिश द हस्तमुद्रास टुमारो एनीबडी वांट्स टू आस्क मी एनीथिंग Ma'am, ma'am, I am Marisha. Ma'am, I want to ask that how, 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 um, how you do the mudra of katakam? Katakam, I showed you, no? Do you put your hand up? Put your show me your. I can't see your hand. Where is your hand, ma'am? Can you show your hand? No. Keep all your fingers together. See my finger. Look at my finger first. Look at my finger. Yes. Show me your hand again. Yes. Keep keep all your fingers together. Keep your fingers together. Close. बिल्कुल एक साथ जोड़ के रखो. एक साथ जोड़ के रखो. हाँ, बिल्कुल जोड़ के रखो. Touch करना है. पूरा finger कोई खुला नहीं होना चाहिए. अब उसमें से जो आपका little finger है ना, उसके पास वाला finger को आप मोड़ो. मोड़ो ये हो गया पता का क्या है दैट इज पता का से दैट यस ठीक है समझ आ गया ओके सो वी विल मीन ऐसे पकड़ो पहले इसको ऐसे रखो ठीक है मिडिल फिंगर को सिर्फ मिडिल फिंगर को धीरे से बेंड करो फॉरवर्ड धीरे से सामने लाओ मिडिल फिंगर को नीचे लाओ नीचे लाओ नीचे लाओ और थंब के पास ले आओ अब ऐसा गोल बनेगा बस दिस इज कटक गुड आपका बन गया राइट सो टुमोरो वी विल मीट अगेन and i want a little more of response so that i know towards the end of the workshop at least few moments we should of course it's very difficult online to have moments but uh, what physically we can do uh, in an online it becomes very difficult but i am trying my level best and i hope all of you who are uh, attending this workshop will also try your level best to take as much as possible from what my workshop is All right anjali can we exit now can we say you want to say something anjali uh, uh, i will say ma'am me shweta puri thank you so much aaj ka session bahut acha raha maine bhi bahut koshish ki mudra banane ki aur sikhi hai aur bahut hi gyanvardhak tha hum log kal fir milenge ma'am aur main sare students se yahi kehna chahungi ki aaj jo ma'am ne sikhaya hai wo practice kare sham mein और कल फिर आप ठीक नौ बजे जुड़िए और अपना रिस्पांस बताइए मैम को तो मैम को और अच्छा लगेगा आज लोग सीखा आपने कल हाँ कल छोटा छोटा थोड़ा सा मैम को दिखाइए कि हमने ये प्रैक्टिस किया है और ये हमने सीखा है तो मैम को और अच्छा लगेगा वो और नई चीजें आपको सीखने को मिलेंगी क्योंकि क्या है ये अगर आप मुझे दिखाएंगे आज मैंने जो भी सिखाया है तभी मैं उसके आगे निकल पाऊंगी नहीं तो वही पे मैं वही पे रुक जाऊंगी वही सिखाती रहूंगी तो आप भी थोड़े दिन के बाद बोर हो जाएंगे अगर आप चाहते हो कि मैं उसके आगे बढ़ू तो मुझे पहले आपको दिखाना पड़ेगा कि आप क्या सीख चुके हैं ठीक है सो और सबसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगी कि सब अपने कैमरास को ऑन रखें ऑफ ना रखें ऑन रखें ताकि हमें पता चले कि आप क्या सीख रहे हो और यकीन मानो पांच दिन के बाद आप इतना अच्छा सीखे हुए रहोगे की ये लाइफ लॉन्ग आप भूल नहीं पाओगे इस चीज को या और मैं कोशिश करूंगी कि जो मेरा वीडियोस है वो आप तक दिखा सकूं ताकि आपको और अच्छी तरह समझ आए ठीक है आई विल ट्राई टू डू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू मेक इट एज सिंपल एज पॉसिबल बिफोर आई डू इट बिफोर आई मीन टू टीच यू दिस ठीक है सो थैंक यू सो मच मैम फिर कल मिलते हैं कल मिलते हैं नौ बजे uh, सब लोग एक बार मेरे साथ वो करेंगे स्वस्तिर्भवतु स्वस्तिर्भवतु 
स्वस्तिर्भवतु शांतिर्भवतु शांतिर्भवतु भवतु भवतु मंगल मंगल शांति 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 namaste and have a good day eat well keep yourself safe and protected please take care of all of you take care of yourself don't eat any junk food swasth aur acha khana khaiye junk food ko bilkul bhul jaiye kyunki uski wajah se aapka aarogya nahi badhega kharab hoga theek hai eat well and sleep well study bhi kariye aur sath mein apna ye task bhi नमस्कार थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मैम